All right, so here we got the charboil electric smoker, commonly referred to as a steam box. A um, few learning lessons that I figured out, came across. Um, you can see I got some good smoke going. I took the small little eighth inch port out of there unscrewed that and took my hole saw and drilled out an inch and a quarter uh, hole actually inch and a half and then lined it with aluminum foil to make a vent pipe out of there I took the bottom rack wrapped it with aluminum foil as both a catch for any drippings and also vent the smoke up uh, why am I venting the smoke up? Because you need to have your temp up to get that uh, wood smoking. So I got my temp cranked all the way up, wood enough heat to smoke, uh, to create smoke, and that aluminum foil is kind of keeping that heat down, keeping that heat with the charcoal so that way it continues to smoke. Uh, you want to get that smoke rolling first, then put your meat in and then let it cook. You want to cook, close that back up because we just lost a lot of temp. Um, you want to let that cook nice, low and slow. But if you have that open to the meat, you either have one of two problems. Not enough temperature to get the wood smoking, or you got too much temperature to get the wood smoking, but now your temperature is too high and you're not going to cook that meat low and slow. So I drilled a few holes at the bottom, some little um, 5 16 holes, I drilled like three of them um, to kind of get a little bit more airflow, vent at the top and then wrap it up. And then I, for the tray that holds the wood chips, I just knocked the top piece of those slides off um, so that way there's no restriction nothing to kind of hang it up so I can slide it out throw wood chips on slide it in real quick and not have it kind of snag up uh, the other thing I did is I bent the coil up a little bit so it's right close to all the wood chips so I knocked that top piece off and then I just set the racks right on top it kind of gives you a little bit more space so that way you can slide it in and out, like I said. Um, and then put that, bent that coil up to where it's like right close to those wood chips. So you get that heat right directly on them. Um, yeah, that's kind of the learning lessons I've figured out. And I uh, got this for free 99 so it's been a nice little one experiment out for the next, trying different things and learning lessons. and. So far, this has worked out really well. Happy smoking.